Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Ultimate Fishing Simulator 2 Early Access. And we are here at the Russian map. There is a lot in this map to explore, guys. Lots and lots of things to do. We have multiple locations we can go back to. Let me check here on the map itself. Alright, this is a map of the Russian lake. Now, I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce the name, so I'm not even going to attempt it. So, in the last episode, we were at position number one, our spawn point one, right here that I've just now highlighted. I think what we're going to do in these uh, next several episodes, I think we're just going to go through the different spawn points and see what species are available. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and move over here to position number two. Now we can walk back to one if we want to. And in fact, I think you can walk to most points without having too much of an issue. But I just kind of wanted to see what was around here. Now it's too deep to cross here. I don't know what kind of species we've got going in here. And let me see on the map here. Let's see, I am, if I turn around this way and head this way, I can go back to where I was fishing before or at least there might be a crossing point over here where I can do it. Yeah, I think that's it right there. But this looks like a really good spot to fish, honestly. Let's see what we have as far as the hunter vision. I think it's... Oh, uh, gosh, V? Yep. Uh, we got a lot of lag. We're we'll gonna have to try that in a minute. <laughs> when we first come in here, the lag is real, but it looks like we have a lot of carp species here, which is starting to lend me to believe that I'm gonna need to do some float fishing, guys. But before we do that, I am gonna go ahead and do some regular fishing and kind of get a little bit of a recogn recognizance on this. See what's exactly under there what I can and cannot fish for. I don't know that there's going to be any sturgeon here. I don't think there's going to be. I think the water's a little too shallow for them. But let's see what we have here on our gear. There we go. And we're going to see what's out there. We've just got a little bit of a light a little bit of a light lure on there. I have a feeling I'm going to overcast that. Nope, I didn't. I'm surprised. So Let's go ahead and check the underwater view here. We'll get an idea of what we got, maybe, what we got swimming around in here. And if we get a bite, all the better. Yeah, I'm going to have to run this a little bit and get some of the lag out. It's one thing about this game, you really kind of have to get past this laggy period. Those look like either silver carp or big head carp to me. And I'm not seeing anything that's really going to go for this. Yeah, these are all carp species without a doubt. So I am thinking that we need to go to float rod. Because they're not going to be interested in this at all. Now there could be eels here. I know there are eels in this, plenty of them. I've run across them. And if so, this would be the perfect bait. There's a sturgeon. I'm surprised. 
figured it was a little too shallow, but I think he's going to be kind of small. Yeah, they're not even... I'm not even given an inkling of being interested in that. There's an eel, though. He might be. If he gets close enough. So he was over there on the right side of things, so I may just go ahead and toss that over there just to, real quick. Like I said, I'm doing this kind of slow, just so that I, if I get a follow. Well, that's going to not, that's going to overcast for sure. Yep, I knew it. Okay, I think I got it in the water. Alright. Usually when I do that, it just pops right back to me, so... I'm surprised it didn't. This water is real shallow here. I'm hoping I can get close enough to that eel and maybe get his attention. Okay, we got a bit of a snag here. Uh, there we go. Alright. Yeah, these guys are not going to be interested. I can only hope that the eel sees it, but... If he doesn't, then we're going to go on to our flow rod, because this is going to be kind of boring. <laughs> Nothing happens. Now, I think that might be an asp. And asps might go for it. Yeah, let's just go ahead and do the float fishing thing. Now, as far as float fishing goes, we've got quite a few things we can work with, but I'm going to stick with the 13.62 pound test. We're going to go ahead and I think I'm going to change it down to a 6 on the... Cause I don't know how big these guys are. Now we can use dough balls. We could use... I should tell us what goes for it. We got mirror carp, silver carp. That's silver carp. That's what I thought. Grass carp. So any of this stuff should be good. Grass carp go for those as well, the casters. So really any of these. The corn. Corn's probably going to be best, honestly, because it hits more of the species that we're interested in. Let's try the corn. And if that doesn't work, we'll use the we'll use the dough balls. Oh wow! So I'm using a top-down perspective, huh? It's too shallow, apparently. There we go. Yeah, we got eels, we've got one small sturgeon. Boy, he is a fighter. Yeah, we're going to have to increase our drag a little bit. A little bit more. A little bit more. I'm thinking that's a grass carp. We can go a little more. Wow, he is a fighting little fella, isn't he? He's a fightness. 
He didn't have far to go, though. You don't have to worry about him spooling you. Damn, this is one tough little fish. Come on. Okay, we got him, we got him, we got him. There we go, grass carp. He's only a one star. But I think he's our... F he might be our first. I think he is. Can't remember if I got any at that other lake. Doesn't say a personal best, so he's... Not the best we've gotten. But he's still 20.18 pounds. $44. We'll keep him. Take our drag back down. See how far we cast that out. Oh wow, that's quite the cast. Let me bring it in just a little bit here. Okay. Well, I like this kind of perspective. It's kind of different. Leader might be a little bit long, but we'll see. If it is, I'll shorten it up a little bit. But I think it is a little bit on the long side for this location. There we go. Another grass carp. And he is going to fight me really good. This corn is working really well. Oh, shoot. Okay, let's back down a little bit. He's got some strength. Damn, he's taken out a lot further than I thought they could do that. Alright, let's see what we... Let's take the camera back out. We're going to have to fight him from a different perspective because I need to figure out where he's going. He's taking it around that bend. Okay, we need to... Take that drag up just a little bit. A little bit more. Oh boy, better watch it. It's a l you can break a rod very easily in this game. I have done it <laughs> on more than one occasion. comes to worse we can walk the fish so I'm thinking that, that might be what I'm gonna do if I can well, I appear to be stuck on something here there we go okay I got loose I got loose. Well, we're going to go over here to him. Oh, he went under the bridge. A little sneak. We caught up with him. Well, you are a big fella, aren't you? And we got him. There we go. Now that is my personal record. 
That's a nice fish. It's going to be a little hard to get a picture, though, but I think we got it there. Nice. Very nice. Good picture. And we got us a screenshot, so let's go ahead and go back. It was $99 for him. And I'm not even sure where we ended up here. I think we're almost to where we were fishing from before. See, there's a place right there where you can cross. And let me put that away so I don't damage my gear. Yeah, I walked all the way down here with him. And here's a nice little bridge. Let me take a look at the map exactly where I am. So yeah, see, that's how you get over to here. Got us a nice little bridge. And we can walk over here where we were. Let me try that Hunter Vision again. There's an eel. Okay. That's the only thing I could see at the moment, but we're going to. Oh, there's another grass carp. Let me take a look here at my gear. Now I have 13 pound test on here. Could probably go a little bigger if, but I don't know about the rod. The rod may be my problem. Let me see. No. Just see if it kind of. All right, wait a minute. This one might be better. This one might be better. Yeah, this one's fine. This one's fine. Which we could probably go even bigger on this. Let's try the, using that one. And for line. Thirty-six point eighteen. Liter. Well, that's all we got is seventeen. We can try using a caster, but we're going to definitely need a bigger hook. Let's let's go with either a seven or a six. Let's go. Well, let's go with a seven. Let's just split the split them down the middle. Now we did use. Well, I'll tell you this: the earthworm attracts all of these. We have mirror carp. I saw silver there for sure. So I want something that the silver carp goes for. Let's try a peas. Because I haven't gotten a silver carp yet. That's one I have not caught. Okay, we're going to get us a little bit of lag. This has got a waggler on it. And there's one right there. Well, that sucked. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be able to see under the water this close. No. Nope. We're just going to have to do it the old-fashioned way and see if they go for it. Well, I don't see him now. There he goes. I think we got us another grass carp. Yeah, this one's definitely handling this fish a lot easier than the other one did. Another grass carp, but this is a three star, guys. See how much easier he was to get in, though? There we go. Nice zoomed in picture. That's a nice fish. 
We'll keep him. Ooh, what is that? That's some kind of a trout. That's some kind of a trout. What is that? Hmm, let's switch over to this. Let me grab... Let me see, what about these bugs? We got chum, coho, northern pike, pink salmon for that. That's Wells Catfish. No, I don't want to delete that item. Not that's useful. Wow. Tells you whether they will go for it. That's pretty cool. Well we got this spinner, it might work. Any of these bugs will probably be fine. But I'd like to get a, a... He looks like a big fish, so I'm probably going to try to get a little bit bigger one. Yeah, let's try this one, the white one. I'm going to toss that out a little. Whoops. Not too far. Ah, still got hooked on the ground. Grass carp. Well, I'm not seeing him now. Oh! Damn it! That was him. Did you see that? Let's try it again. Okay, what is going on with that fish? <laughs> It's like right there. What is going on with this fish? Why is this fish laying here? I've never seen one do that. Look at him. I can't mess with him. What is he, though? Is that a salmon? Well, he was going for it, but I can't see. He seemed to have glitched out in some way. He's he's stuck. <laughs> I think what I might do is I might leave the map and then come back, see if he's still there. Let's downsize the hook. No, no, we'll keep the hook size the same. I'm trying to decide if I should go with peas or dough. Let's go with dough this time. And the dough will get the silver carp, so we can use that. And I saw the silver carp right over there. Right about there. Whoop. Gotta make sure it's in the red. There we go. We've already gotten grass carp. That's what I'm afraid I'm going to end up getting is another grass carp. Not that I'd be tore up about it. It's just that I'd like to get something a little different. There we go. That's what I wanted right there. We'll have to get more bait, don't I? Ooh, he's a decent size one, too. Ooh, they are feist. That's right, silver carp are. They like to jump. There we go, our first silver carp. He's only a one star, but see how funky their heads look? 
They and Big Head Carps look very similar. Get a picture of him too. All right. Thirty-four ninety-four. Yeah, around here you wouldn't get that for him. That is a big grass carp right there. Let's see, we'll put the dough ball back on there. I'm kind of curious if that was a tench. Tench love cheese. Might go down. S I just want to see if it's a tench. I'm going to put an 8 on there. Why is the set incomplete? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, let's try a spinner. Can't cast it too far. It's still going over. Nope, it didn't. Just barely. Got it right to the edge. We need to... I think we need to step it up a little bit. There we go. Come on, let's see if we can't guess a coho salmon. There we go. Nice. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. can't really tell if that's what it is from top down. <laughs> Alright, this... oh gosh, this guy's good size. Man. We'll find out what he is here shortly. Come on. Yeah, I love this mix of species. There's a lot of species in this lake. Lots of diversity. Alright, we got him. It's a coho. I thought it was. Now, this is a female. Notice her coloration is pretty, pretty uniform. The other one that we saw in the water was a male. He was kind of mottled looking. Now, she's at 22.31 pounds, new personal record. 189.67 cash. That's pretty good. That's actually very good. So, let's take another picture here. Nice. We'll keep her. Let's see if we can't get that male. Can't throw it too hard. This thing really, really casts far. And we still ended up on the ground. Okay, I think we're in the water. Alright, yep, we're around the edge. I'm going to take the drag down just a little bit. There we go. Okay, this is an altogether different species. I believe. Doesn't look like a coho. Can't really get a good look. He's not very big, though. No, he is a coho. Yep, yep, now I see a good look at him. He's considerably smaller than that female was. But yeah, he's got that beak. He's not very big, though. There was a much bigger male. Good cast. Much better than that last one. Yep, 
Yeah, we got sturgeon, we got crucian carp, Prussian carp, coho salmon. I think that coho salmon might be a little bit interested. I don't know. He was spazzing out a little bit, so sometimes when they do that, that means they're interested. Uh, maybe not. Is that fish still there? <laughs> Alright, let's do something to help this guy out. Alright, come on. Let's go to the map. I'll go to position 1. And then we'll go back to position 2. And that's how you do it. Should have freed him up. Let's go up here. No, he's still there. Oh, that poor fish. I can't do anything to help him, I guess. Usually it frees him up, but he's stuck. Poor little guy. Well, let's see if there's anything over here that we can go after. Let's see what we can attract here, guys. Okay, there's a big fish. There we go. We got us another coho here. Let's there we go, we got him. I don't think he's real big. He's not putting up much of a fight. Oh, it's a pink salmon. Yeah, that's another new one. Three stars. 57.86. I did not realize they had pink salmon here. Well, that's two species of salmon I've seen here so far. Get us another picture of him, or her, or whatever. I think that's a male, actually. The males are more colorful. Yeah, let's go back to our float rod here. Yeah, I want to see if there's any tinch over here. Can we... Yeah, we can get a view. Can't get an underwater view though. Too close. It's not looking like anything's really all that interested in that. Well, I was wrong. There's a tench. Tag on it. And a decent one, mind you. I take it back. A four star tench. Wow. 13.79 pounds. That is a big tench. That is a really big tench. In fact, I'm probably going to put him in my trophy room. I can't imagine getting a bigger one than that. That is a nice tench. He didn't much cash, but I want trophy representations of each species. I try to get five stars as much as off I, I possibly can. Keep him. Yeah, I did see one over here too. It was right over in this area. Love to get a five star. <laughs> Now the one I did see, he was pretty big. I don't know if he was that big, but he was pretty big. They do love the cheese.
This place is lousy with grass carp. There we go. Another tench. Yeah, I don't think he's as... Well, I don't know. We'll see. No, it's a common carp. Okay. I thought it was another tench. He's not very big, though. He's kind of small. One star. That's not... That's nothing to get excited about. Well, it's good to know that the common carp go for that pretty readily here. Now, is that a tinge down there? Can't tell. Sometimes when you're looking from the top down, it's really hard to tell some from others. There's another silver carp. Good silver carp. I don't think they really go for the cheese, though. And that looks like another salmon of some type. Okay, there's a fish that's losing its mind. That's what I think I'm after here, guys. That is a tench. Alright. He was losing his ever-loving mind. Let's see. Three star. Nope, not quite as big. That was the one I saw earlier, so I think that first one was definitely the biggest one I was going to get out of this little hull here. Well, let's change our hook size. We're going to put it to a we're going to put it as a 5. Let's put a dough ball on here. And we'll see if we can't get that big silver carp. He's right there, too. Come on. You know you want it. Come on. Watch a grass carp take it. <laughs> That's what I'm afraid of. I've already gotten those. Let's see. Yeah, I got a grass carp. There's that silver carp right there, and he's a monster. He just does not seem interested in what I've got to show him. There we go. Yeah, we'll keep him. Oh, yes, we have to sell some stuff. Fourth, good lord, how much of... Wow, I didn't realize I had that much on me. Holy crap, I've got a lot of money. <laughs> Okay, that's fine. We'll keep him. Where's that big old... There he is. Come on, fella. You know you want it. Actually, that might be a grass carp, too. I thought that was a silver carp. There's a silver carp right there. Come on, come on. You know you want it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, we got a different fella. <laughs> oh, crap. He's big. He's big. He is big. Big old fella. Come on. Yep, I think this is going to be a good ending for our episode here, guys. This guy is... Whew, this may be a trophy room silver carp here. 
We got him. We got him. Got his head up. Come on, don't. He's gonna fight me. There we go. No, no, he's only a three star, but that's still 69 pounds. Wow. 69 pounds. Okay, I'm sorry, guys. Okay, I'm sorry, guys. One more time. That big fellow's right there. carp big one too ooh you little <coughs> he's not gonna make this easy for me is he there we go we got him Yeah, he's just a two-star. Well, at least we're weeding some of them out. <laughs> well, we could try this Secure Suscus. Wait a minute. That's all it goes for it. Nothing else does. This Robinson Trophy might do it right. I like that... I like that cold salmon that I just saw. I'm going to try him one more time. I know I keep saying one more time. It's hard not to in this game. It really is. You just keep wanting to try something else. There we go. see if those salmon go for that. I don't know that they will, but there's all kinds of tench over here. Man. There we go. That's a good way to end this episode. And he is not a little fella either. Let's see how big this fella is. He's put some strain on this old rod. Got him. Now he's just another female, or she is another female. 99.59 cash. That's good for such a small fish. Alright. Well, guys, that is spawn point number two. Lots of silver carp, tench, there's even a few small sturgeon and grass carp out the wazoo and some eels that are extremely aggravating <laughs> but 
Great spot. Uh, apparently there was some Prussian carp down there too. I haven't really gone for them. But I might in the next episode or a later episode. But anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll be back with another episode of Ultimate Fishing Simulator 2. So until then, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. And I will see you later. Bye-bye. Thank you.